This video will show you an introduction on how to find inverses of a function. To find the inverse of a function, we're going to switch the domain and the range. So a review from Algebra 1, domain is our x values, and range is our y values. This is my input, this is my output. So we're going to work through an example, and then we'll formalize and copy down some steps. So y equals 2x plus 2. First thing is we're going to switch x and y because I'm switching my domain and range. x equals 2y plus 2. Now I'm going to solve for y. So I'm going to get this piece by itself. Subtract 2 on both sides. x minus 2 equals 2y. Divide by 2 y equals x minus 2 over 2. You could leave it like that. Or we could make it y equals x over 2 minus 2 over 2, which would reduce to y equals x over 2 minus 1. Remember, you can pause if you need to and copy down the notes and then hit play when you're ready to move on. So let's take a look. This is my original function, and this is my inverse over here. Here's my original. Here's my inverse. There are tables shown for you, and there's the graphs as well. I'm just going to label the graphs. And I recommend you do the same on your paper, so that way you know which you're looking at. So just take a minute and see if you can make any observations. Some things you should notice graphically. It's a reflection over the line y equals x. In the table, what you should notice is that coordinate pairs, x's and y's, are switched. So, for example, the point 1, 4 here is now the point 4, 1 there. The point, let me get a different color, the point negative 1, 0 is the point 0, 1 here. So, coordinate pairs are switched. Because that's the definition of an inverse. My x's and y's are switched. My domain and range is switched. So, our steps for finding an inverse. Number one, if the equation is in function notation, which would be something like f of x or g of x, k of x, anything like that, we're going to rewrite it as a y equals. Then you are going to switch x and y. And then your last step is to solve for y. Just in terms of notation, if f of x is the function, then its inverse is f with this um, exponent, it looks like, of negative 1x. And we call this f inverse of x. Let's look at some more examples. If f of x equals 3x minus 2, find f inverse of x. So just remember, this means inverse. So step one is to rewrite as a y equals. So y equals 3x minus 2. Step two is to switch x and y x equals 3y minus 2. Everyone should always be able to do these first steps, and these first two steps will always be the same regardless of the type of function. Now I'm solving. Add 2 on both sides. Divide by 3. Remember, if you need to pause at any time, that's fine. Remember, you can leave it like this, or if you want to split up those two 
fractions, y equals x over 3 plus 2 over 3. And actually, I just want to make one correction. I'm going to erase my y, and I'm going to put it back in function notation. So if they give you this notation, we're going to use this notation. Okay? So even over here, I'm just going to erase this and make this f inverse, just to be consistent. Take a look at two more for tonight's homework. Number two, if f of x equals x squared minus 6, find the inverse. Step one and two are always the same. Rewrite as y equals. So I have y equals x squared minus 6. Switch x and y. x equals y squared minus 6. Now I'm going to solve. Add 6 on both sides. We have x plus 6 equals y squared. And now I am going to undo a squared. So in order to undo our squared, we are going to take the square root. And whenever you are taking the square root, whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So I get y equals. But I want to make sure I do a plus and a minus. With a square root or any even root, square root, fourth root, sixth root, it's always a plus minus, never with the odd. So always plus minus for even roots. Just keep that in mind. And lastly, number three, find the inverse of f of x equals the cube root of x minus 8. First two steps are always the same. y equals the cube root of x minus 8. I'm going to switch my x and y. From here, we're going to solve. Add 8 to both sides. I have x plus 8 equals the cube root of y. To undo a cube root, you are going to raise both sides to the third power. If it was a square root, you would raise both sides to the second power. To undo any root, you're going to raise to that power because roots and exponents are opposites of each other, just like addition and subtraction or multiplication and division. So I have y equals x plus 8 cubed, and you can leave it just like that. Do not sit here and multiply out x plus 8 times x plus 8 times x plus 8. So we will practice more, but remember the main thing with inverse is switch x and y, solve for y. That's the big takeaway, and we're going to do lots of practice as we continue this topic.